Hey folks, Dave here in Studio B, and I have a, a, a quick video for you guys here tonight. As I was going to go and set everything up here. Uh, we're gonna, a lot of people are asking me, like, the logos. Now that Stone Cold PC Hockey is out, Stone Cold PC Hockey is out, people are asking about the logos. Of course they are, because that's what we all want. We want to customize our game. We want to make it look nice. <clears throat> so that's what we're going to look at here tonight. I'm just setting up my chat as I normally do. I decided to go live and do this here, so hopefully I'll get it all correct. It's fairly simple. You do, though, you do need to know how to use graphic programs or, or put in graphics or get your way around a con on a computer, okay? So you do need to have some sort of graphic skills and get, a, get around on a computer to do this, okay? Aside from that, basic skills, it's easy. So let me um, just get rid of myself here and um, call it the game. And I think I should be here now. So, all right. So as you can see, I want to thank Scott for sending me over the NHL logo so I didn't have to go and do those there. But um, <clears throat> what you want to do, see, um, they all have logos now, except the four-team one. The four-team one, that was my custom season or custom uh, playoffs that I did. So I don't have anything for that right now. Okay. So I would have to go and, and make one for that to get that to come up. But as you can see, all the other seasons have the NHL, including the new ones here. <clears throat> so if I click on 83-84... And now we see the standings and the teams. Okay, see how they all have logos here? Let's go to the schedule, all the logos. All right, so let's show you <clears throat> how to do that. All right, so let's do that. So let's just go out of here. So what you want to do is you want to go into your C drive. Okay, it's, it's, no matter where you put the game, you need to go to your C drive. Find Stone Cold Hockey. Okay, Stone Cold Hockey. Double click on it. You want to go <clears throat> to the pictures. Click on your pictures. All righty. And then you have this here. You have your game backgrounds, your logos. I haven't done anything with players yet. I don't think there's any players. And then season logos. The game backgrounds are JPEGs. All right. Now you can see I have the Bruins, the Scouts, the Canadians, and the Nordiques. And these are the ones I just kind of threw up there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to design my own at some point there. These, um, excuse me, are, are full-size screens, okay? So when you look at your computer screen, whatever that is, is what you want this to be. I don't know if it's like 1920 by whatever it is, but, but you want it to be rectangular to fit the screen. You need to name them certain things. So this is Boston space Bruins dot JPG. This is Kansas City, Kansas, Kansas space city space scouts JPG. And you're not putting the underline symbol. You're just leaving a space. <clears throat> you can also go by year. So if you wanted a different picture for different years, see how Quebec Nordiques, this is the underscore 1983. So it's Quebec space Nordiques underscore 1983 to get Quebec in there. <clears throat> so that's how you would get the game backgrounds into the game by team is to put them in here as a JPEG. So that's the game backgrounds. The team logos, they are PNG. And I believe they're, someone said they're 200 by 200. I just kind of put them in and the game resized them for me. So I, I really didn't get too crazy about it. But again, I have a couple different seals ones here. I have, uh, that's the one I'm actually using here. Um, <clears throat> there's a Black Hawks in a Black Hawks because there was a, the team used to be called the Black Space Hawks. So that's in here as well. Um, the Avalanche, if you want that, Arizona Coyotes and the whole bit. So these are PNGs. Now, I can see the Ducks have a few different ones here. If you just have one, all right, let's say the Atlanta Flames just has one, that's going to cover all the Atlanta Flames. All right, so whatever Flames team you have in here, when they start producing more seasons, it's any Atlanta Flames is going to default to this. But you can see how in Anaheim over here, they have a couple different ones. Okay, so here... This is your standard PNG that's going to cover everything, except if you put in the year. So if you put in the year, it's going to default to the year, I believe. Let me double check this. So let me go to my game, and if I do 2005, and I go to my teams, and I go to Anaheim. Was it the Mighty Ducks? How come I don't have Anaheim and Mighty Ducks? All right, you see that logo there? That logo there? is this logo here. It is not this one. That's the generic one. I labeled it Anaheim Ducks 2005 PNG. And as you can see, that comes up here. And that's going to be different than some of the other Ducks. So if I get out of here and we go to 21-22 uh, and we go to our team, to see how that's got the Ducks logo here? It's different. So you can have different logos for different seasons by doing it this way. Okay. So, uh, excuse me, so again, um, 
put them. So you get the Buffalo Sabres here, and I got my Buffalo Sabres 2005. So I get two different logos for the Sabres. One that's going to cover everything, and one that's going to cover the Sabres there. Um, I decided to do a whole bunch of different ones for the Bruins here. Just so I could have the, you know, the Bruins. Actually, there's just two different logos there. Florida Panthers, the same thing. That was the classic, and I think I kept the classic over there. Whalers, same way. I got 83 Whalers, 90 Whales are the same, but I got a generic Whalers here if I need it. Kings, 74. Kings, 83 was a little bit different. The Kings had a lot of crazy stuff. And then the, the, the modern-day Kings right there. So that's how you do the logos for the teams, okay? You're in the Stone Cold Hockey. Go to your pictures. Go to your logos. They are PNG, okay? Game backgrounds, JPEG. Logos, PNG. Now you want the season logos. You drop in the NHL logos. Here. They are also PNG. And how these are here, 1964-65 PNG, okay? The CCL, I think that comes with the game. 2021-22 PNG is the new logo. So that's how you get the logos in there. For you see, So if you were to create your own season in here and you want to create your own logo you just name it what the season is drop it in here as a png and there you go so that's kind of how you do the pictures in this game you can also do sounds click on sounds these are the main sounds in the game i have renamed all these to be what i want them to be i have these as um the sega genesis hockey 1991 nhl and actually nhl 94 i think it is but you can bring in anything you want. So you have your whistle. You have your shot two. Shot, basically shot one, but it's just called shot. You got your hit with a boo. You got four different hits. You got a goal for the visitors, a goal for the home team, and a end of period horn. So you can customize these all you want. So if you got a really good home goal, sco home, um, goal horn or a fog horn, you name it goal, capital H, dot MP3, and you drop it in here, and that'll play in the game. Uh, the goal for the visit is the same way. You know, I don't think you'd want something real happy for the visitors, but that's where you would put it here. Again, all these I changed. And I, I did actually keep, see, these are the originals. I, I took the originals out of sounds and put them here. So if I ever want to put the originals back, I can do that. But in, in my sounds, I've created all my own sounds in here, or at least I put in my own sounds. So that's how you would do that. So um, I think that's about it. Uh, let's see. In the if somebody was asking about uh, how do you play here here's the PDF right here there's your instructions on Stone Cold Hockey is right there in the C drive under PDF at least that's where mine is okay so let me get out of here and go back into the game now um, so that yeah that is that All right, so I think that's the the best way just to do that is just to show that off. <clears throat> um, I don't think this is anything else I can show you in here. Um, oh, th maybe there's uh, is it F one? Okay, yeah. Let me let me go here for. Let me come back to uh to this for one second here. So I'm in my main screen right now. So if you hit uh, function one, it brings up some help. Okay, and it talks about the user created graphics here. And it tells you where they are. And so it, it does kind of explain it here. You want to go into Stone Cold Hockey on the C drive under pictures under logos where I was. The game backdrop should be here. And, you know, it shows you how to name them all, okay? Boston Bruins underscore 1991, blah, 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 okay? So it's going to tell you that the season's going to, you know, 91, 92 is going to look for this season here. So there is some instructions here. You can even create your own sounds and drop them in like I showed you here. So, um... That's how you can do the sounds. And uh, Jeff's uh, enjoying the game. You bought every season. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was going to, too. I'm, I want to play every season myself. So in, in, the, in the main section, again, if you're at the main window here, do your function one, and it's going to call up your help here. And it's going to tell you how to register it, install seasons, new seasons, new playoffs, whatever here. User-created graphics. That's what you're lose, looking for right here. And then user-created sounds. So um, hopefully that will help you guys out here as getting you on your way. As I come back to Studio B, as uh, the game has been released a bit early. You guys wanted it early, and you got it. So go do something with this. I want to see you guys playing this. I want to see you guys uh, talking about this game. But that's how you put in the graphics, okay? Just like I showed you here, and in doubt, when in doubt, hit F1 at the main screen, and that'll give you an idea what, what to do as well. So um, I'm Dave. I hope this helps, and I will... <laughs>